you are welcome to yet another episode of HN What's Your Say? The number one listening show where we discuss real issues with real people like you. We are still featuring R. Kelly. Real name Robert Sylvester Kelly. Also known as the R&B King. While the government claims to be out there looking out for young women, and presenting it as the excuse for singling out R. Kelly as an individual, railroading him and locking him up for the rest of his life on an indirect life sentence they secured from the broken U.S. justice system, we are left to wonder why a person like Lisa Van Allen who has confessed to sleeping with a 14-year-old twice has not yet been arrested and indicted by the very same federal officers. In her two attempts to frame R. Kelly and his former manager Daryl McDavid first in 2008, and later in 2022 when she twice on the stand claimed to have been involved with a 14-year-old Rishona Landfair commonly referred to as Jane Doe, she forgot one important fact that suggests she was actually above 18 and therefore an adult with regard to the U.S. federal laws which officially makes her a sex offender by her own confession. In 2008, Lisa Van Allen took the stand and confessed to having three-way intercourse in which one of the trio was a 14-year-old and definitely minor to her. She also made sure to tell the judge that for several years she had been in custody of a video recording of this encounter which she was trying to use to extort her Kelly to a tune of $250,000 according to her testimony. In fact, Lisa Van Allen goes ahead to claim that she and her fiancé then were to be paid $20,000 for the tape, and to be promised the balance if they returned the originals of whatever she claims to have delivered. Meanwhile, it's important to note that around that time, there is indeed a tape that was being sold on the open market on the streets of Chicago that the distributors claimed had records of R. Kelly with two women, an allegation that has never been fully confirmed considering the origin of the tape until today has never been established which breaks the chain of custody, making it inadmissible as evidence in the U.S. court system. By mentioning the word original, Lisa Van Allen is suggesting that she not only slept with 14-year-olds, but also possessed recordings of her acts which she took time to duplicate and make copies of for sale at a price as high as US$250,000. This not only makes her an abuser but also a distributor of CP considering the replicated copies were meant for commercial distribution through blackmail and other methods. However, Lisa Van Allen's legal matter is of distinct nature considering she herself confessed to have been the adult woman on the tape that was indulging with another girl said to have been 14 years old. The first threesome you had, was it with an underage girl? No, it wasn't. Okay, so it was uh, an older woman. Not older, she was more but my age, probably about age. 17, 18, so she wasn't underage. Okay, at what point would was the threesome with the underage girl actually happening? Um, I don't know exactly the, the point, but I know uh, it actually happened at his home. And um, uh, it happened at his home, and I was 17 years old. So it wasn't in the very beginning, but it wasn't too long after the first threesome. Okay, and how'd you know the girl was underage? He told me she was six, his 16-year-old neighbor, but I found out two years later that she was actually 14 at the time. Wow. Lisa Van Allen technically said, hey look, I happen to be that adult woman on the tape with a 14 year old. According to the 2008 transcript, Lisa Van Allen was identifying the young woman on the video by her breasts, hair and basically everything like she had taken coaching lessons on her body as a specimen. There is no better confession than that. As if that was not enough, the same Lisa Van Allen was back in 2022, again with a similar confession, and duly told the U.S. federal court the story of how she was fond of cuddling and going beyond reasonable boundaries with 14-year-olds including the one she had previously mentioned in 2008. As if to say hey guys, I confessed to a crime back in 2008 and you did nothing about it. So I am back to remind you of these crimes with the hope that this time round you can do something about it. In these two scenarios, Lisa Van Allen only left out one truth and that was the fact that when she was busy sleeping with her juniors, she was 18 and therefore an adult both under state and federal government laws. The immunities which had been issued to her back in 2008 and now in 2022 therefore cannot hold considering twice under oath and on the stand, she was not being truthful which is the precondition for such immunities to work. In her arrangement of events, 
She mentioned that she only met R. Kelly for the first time during the Home Alone shoot which makes her 18 at the time, and since it is practically impossible that she could have slept with R. Kelly before she met him, it means Lisa Van Allen has confessed twice to pedophilia, but because the government is not really looking out for criminals but specific individuals, they are too busy dealing with R. Kelly who is not guilty until it's proven with evidence, and ignoring a 42-year-old woman who has twice confessed to the very crime they claim they are looking to stamp out. Probably because she is not a celebrity like R. Kelly, or because she doesn't own a music catalog worth billions that Sony is interested in. Or maybe because she hasn't crossed paths with the billionaires like Jay-Z who had to pay R. Kelly damages after ruining the best of both worlds mega music tour. It's only after analyzing situations like these that we get to realize this R. Kelly pursuit is not a chase after criminal activity or anything of the sort, but a scheme to take down R. Kelly as a person and help Sony steal what belongs to him for a cut. And that is the kind of agenda our retiring district attorney Kim Fox chose to be a part of. Teaming up with the real criminals to steal a man's wealth from 30 years of hard work. No wonder we have been hearing of numerous complaints throughout her time as district attorney. Complaints from the general public and from the mayor herself claiming she was never after combating criminal activity in Cook County, but was instead after fulfilling her own personal goals which include enriching herself on the expense of the entire district. If Kim Fox said she was out there to combat crime in her jurisdiction, it will all be a lie considering there lies a criminal who has confessed twice right in front of her, and she is not taking any trouble to indict and charge her. Instead her team was dragging her to the Chicago court by force to get her speaking against R. Kelly like he is the only man they know of in her district suspected of a crime. The cooperation this selective justice has received from the U.S. federal courts is also disturbingly overwhelming. Judges such as Lyon and Weber and Ann Donnelly should not have accepted to be dragged into conducting such selective prejudicial kangaroo trials only focusing on destroying one man's career, while clearly real criminals are out there enjoying freedoms of all kinds. Lisa Van Allen just like Michael Avenatti is supposed to be in prison where she belongs for confessing to multiple crimes twice. Crimes that include having sexual relations with minors, being in custody of child pornographic recordings, and attempting to distribute these recordings in local commerce for the purpose of monetary gain and at breathtaking prices. She also confessed to attempted blackmail, and I am sure more crimes can be derived from her actions by a professional attorney. It looks like while we think the government is out to catch the criminals and protect the young girls, they are only out there to witch hunt successful black celebrities for a killing. I once said our government is now a mercenary for hire and it looks like I was right. Whoever hired Kim Fox clearly hired her to do one thing, and that was to take down R. Kelly which she has tried to do for the past four years. If you wish to take part in a live interview on this channel discussing any of these topics, let us know by emailing us on sashahnnewsroom at gmail.com for scheduling. That is all we had for you today on HN What's Your Say? To keep updated whenever we post a new video, subscribe to this channel now. Also remember to hit the bell icon and enable notifications. And feel free to share your opinions with us in the comment section below, and let us know if you would like us to publish your views in our next release. We value all our subscribers' opinions.